Hey everyone, CNC Keith again here with yet again another Acorn CNC 12 How To DIY video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize a home program to facilitate the use of limit switches that take an exceedingly amount of travel to clear the switch. Now before I show you how to do this, I do have to mention if you're using a limit switch on a CNC machine tool that takes more than a quarter of an inch of axis travel to clear that switch, that switch is either installed wrong or is not designed for CNC machine tool use. So upgrade your switches, change your mechanical hardware configuration around so that you take less than a quarter of an inch to clear that switch. That is the real solution. Now I'm going to show you the workaround by creating a custom home program. Alrighty, I have a three axis set up here right now, and if I hit cycle start, um, it's going to run a home program that uses the M91 and 92 commands. The M91 and 92 commands will seek, move an axis to seek a switch, hit the switch, back off of the switch to clear the switch, and then M26 sets home at that position. It's a single M code that does a whole bunch of nice stuff for you automatically. That M code if you are backing off the switch and it and it notices that the machine moves more than a quarter of an inch that M code thinks hey there is something wrong if I hit a switch and I have to move more than a quarter of an inch to clear it that switch is probably broken the wires broken the switch isn't working very good something sticky something's wrong so it shuts down at that point to give you an opportunity to fix the problem Otherwise, it would probably just keep right on going until it crashed the other side of the axis of that travel. So that's why there's a limit on how much it backs up. Okay, so if you are using a limit switch that takes more than a quarter of an inch of travel to clear it, this is what you need to do. First thing we're going to do is go to the utility or the uh, utility screen, and we're going to fire up the Acorn Wizard. Um, you can see I have my three individual switches, X, Y, and Z, into input one, two, three. We're going to change these to first axis home OK, second axis home OK, and third axis home OK. Make sure that you go to the homing and travel screen and you have this on wizard generated home to switch, and then put your travel limits in of how far you want the machine to be able to move safely before crashing into the other side from the home position that you plan on using. Once you've done that, hit right settings of CNC control. The wizard is creating a new PLC program and is asking us to reboot the Acorn board, which I'm doing, power cycling the Acorn board, wait for a heartbeat. Okay, I've got a heartbeat. I'm going to continue on. All right, we just set up our three switches, and it automatically generated a home program using the M9192 commands. Let's go verify that. I'm going to go to the CNC M directory. That's in the C drive, and there's the CNC M.home program there. I'm going to just go ahead and close my uh, previously opened editor and go edit with notepad alrighty so this is the automatically generated home program you can see using the M91 and 92 all this code in the beginning is just home switch uh, checking so what this is doing is preventing it from trying to home out if the home switch is already tripped so that's uh, air protection there the actual homing is going on right here so we need to change this part of the code so that it doesn't use M9192s. I have posted an example. You feel free to modify my example to suit your needs. You're going to have to because my example is not a one uh, size fits all. And on this thread here at the very bottom, there was another thread as well um, talking about this very subject. I'll have this code posted in both places. So we're going to scroll down, and here's the code. And I highlighted it in blue. This is what you want to add in place of the M9192. Let's go back here, highlight that, paste, file, save. Okay. Now, when I hit cycle start to home out, 
it is running that code, as you see, and not using an M9192. What the M106 says is it moves in a positive direction until it sees input 3 tripped. G91 says move incrementally the z-axis in whatever direction, and these are the things that you're going to have to modify. You can change the 106 to a 105, and it will move in the negative direction. If you change this minus sign in front of the z-axis, the G91 will move in a positive direction. So in my example, I'm homing in the positive direction, and then I back off in a negative direction to clear the switch. Looks like I got some extraneous M90, uh, 101, blah, 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 here, text in the comments, which doesn't matter. I'll clean that up. Okay, moving on. Uh, M106 for X, back off for X, M105 for Y. So you need to change these amounts and these M105 or 106s to get it to home and back off the amount, and then the F command, of course, is the speed that it's doing it. Alrighty, my Z-axis motor has been spinning the whole time here. I'm going to go ahead and trip that switch. Okay, I just tripped that switch and it backed up. Alrighty, now my Y-axis motor is moving, or my X-axis motor is moving. I'm going to trip that switch. Okay, she backed up a half an inch. Now I'm doing Y. It backed up a half an inch, and there we go. We're homed out. That's how you do it with a long switch.